Hey you, what's up? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com and I have a very special video coming for you guys tomorrow. It is going to teach you how you can use your current skills or your skills in any other thing aside from programming and then actually combine it with coding. So I think this video is gonna be very valuable for you and it took me a long time to kind of put this together. It has a little bit of the chess stories in it as well that I covered at the Chess State Championships Tournament. So if you watch my live streams, then maybe you saw that. And if you didn't, that's totally fine. So I wanted to kind of tell you guys about that. And another thing I wanted to answer was Nikhil's question, which I'm sorry, Nikhil, I couldn't answer for the last few days. Um, there are tons of questions I have to answer. So uh, I am very excited. I'm very happy that you were very patient with me, but I'm gonna take a stab at and answer it now. So Nikhil's question goes, friends or coding okay i broke his paragraph question down into like three words essentially so he's just wondering okay if i'm dealing with coding then i kind of feel bad that i'm not spending enough time with friends i'm gonna answer this question figure out how much you want to code right for me it was like 20 hours a day 18 hours a day, I just go crazy. Whatever skill or whatever new thing that I'm learning, I just wanna go crazy in it and just learn the hell out of it. So for you, figure that out. Once I figured out that I'm gonna be spending massive amounts of time coding, what did I do? Become friends with somebody or I turned my actual, you know, my friend at that time, who was a really good friend, I turned him into like my coding friend. So I got him on board into the coding world and then we both just would code like all the time. So we were best friends and then we were coding at the same time. So that way I got my coding time in and I got my friend time in. So whenever you're trying to develop a new skills, get friends around that skill set. So then you're not missing out on friends time and then you're not missing out on the skill time. That's the massive 10x way to increase your skill set. Become so immersed that even your friends are in that industry. But let's say that you have a best friend that does completely something else and they won't change and you don't want them to change and that's totally fine too. That's the point where you have to sacrifice a little bit. So if you were gonna do a 16 hour a day, you can't do that anymore. Do a, um, I, and these are ridiculous examples. I'm gonna make it more normal, humanly, respect your schedule as well. So let's say you want, we were gonna study for one hour or like learn computer programming, problem solve, or work on building an app or whatever for one hour, then 40 minutes should go into, let's say, your app building or your project, and then maybe 20 minutes you can spend with a friend, or 50 minutes can go into working, and then 10 minutes with a friend. And that will slow you down, but that's a good way to keep your whole life balanced, because I think it's very good to spend time with your friends, right? Spend time with your friends, because you don't wanna lose those just normal human things about yourself because people don't like the person who can't be friends with anybody else. And to quantify it for you, I've worked with developers who are incredibly skilled and I paid them next to nothing to work with them um, compared to some other developers who are okay, but I paid a lot. Like I'm talking like 80, $90 an hour or more. Um, some of them were actually $120 an hour. It was their soft skills because they were able to charge so much, not their technical skills. So, because you know, you know, people don't want to work with those people, and that's just me quantifying it, right? But qualitatively, looking at it subjectively, you're just not a fun person to hang out with, <laughs> with uh, from other people's perspective. They don't want to spend time with you, and that affects your relationships, that affects your emotions, and that affects your drive ultimately in the long run. You need a way to kind of relax. One good way is you can code, work hard at the whole day, and then at night, you know, go out with your friends and either go to a party or go out and eat something. If you spend um, nighttime with your friends, what I've seen a lot of the times is when I wake up, I'm really motivated to kind of get going for the next day. So that's how I would answer that. I'm gonna end this video, keep it short, because tomorrow's video is gonna be awesome. Is I took a lot of time to kind of uh, build it. I really hope you guys enjoy it, watch it all the way through. And um, yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. I love you guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.